Hi there everyone, today we're looking at finding the centre of enlargement. Okay, so what you're going to have really, this kind of feeds on to the fact um, of looking at probably negative enlargement. So if you're looking for the signing of centre of enlargement, there isn't a lesson in relation to doing this. But really this is more about trying to think about what other kind of content would help me do this. And really, if you need to look at um, negative scale factors before looking at this particular lesson, all right? So if you've got to this point and you look at this lesson, please look at negative scale factors, because what we're looking really about is sign to the center in between two things. So one will include a normal scale factor and the other will involve a negative scale factor. So please make sure you look at all those first, all right? So here you've got two shapes. And, and again, so really we've seen this one already in, in terms of finding the center of enlargement. So if you've done the other lesson on finding centre uh, enlargement, you'll see this one already. So what you do is you take the, the two opposing corners of the shapes, so the ones that are kind of the same, draw a line through them and carry on. Okay, and you're going to do that for the other two points. So you take the bottom right corner, the bottom right corner, and then draw, and you'll see the centre of enlargement is going to be that one in the corner, which is going to be zero. All right, so that's okay. And you've seen that in another lesson if you've already done it on centre of enlargement. But of course, if you've not done it with a negative, then it becomes a little bit more awkward because hopefully you can see from here, this shape has enlarged to this one, or vice versa, that one is that one. And what we're not looking at in this particular case is we're not describing a full enlargement, which is what the other lesson is. This is purely just a finding the center, all right? So if we're finding the center, again, same idea, we're gonna take a corner sort of the shape and then match it to the respective corner of the other shape. So it's gonna be this one down here, okay? Uh, so that one's gonna be the easiest one. We are now thinking about bottom left and bottom left. Well, if I think bottom left of this particular shape here, it's actually going to be this one up here. And I think bottom right, well, that's going to be bottom right, and that's going to be a bottom right. So you need to be very, very careful which one's there. So bottom right, bottom right, and then bottom left, bottom left. And you can see that here we have the centre of enlargement. So the centre of enlargement here is going to be minus one, one. Right, now of course we've not asked to describe the enlargement and the reason you're not asked to describe the enlargement is A, because that's not part of this particular lesson, but we haven't been told is it going from this one to this one or this one to this one, because obviously that makes a difference. If I'm going from this one to this one, then it's got a scale factor of minus two. If I'm going from this one to this one, that's gonna have a scale factor of minus a half. All right, and then of course that matters. All right, this lesson we're purely looking at just finding the center by drawing those lines. Okay, so get yourself to math.com school.co.uk and have a bit of practice on some of those. Thanks for listening.